Say something for Project Strongman episode 3. Elliot Strongman is strong. Good morning YouTube, how you doing? Hopefully that camera's looking at me and not too far past my shoulder. Welcome to episode 3 of Project Strongman and what a week we have. I've suddenly realised that the Strongman community is amazing. There are so many helpful people out there and so many nice people. So everyone who's reached out, sent me a message, said nice things to me, thank you so much. You know, on the internet, generally encouragement isn't seen, is it? And you guys have been amazing. Oh, there's videos all over the place. So, a big thank you to you. This week, we have none other than, hopefully, the world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. Because I'm going to a seminar of his at the Strongman Sanctuary on Thursday. So today's Tuesday. Um, I didn't film yesterday. And that's in my shirt and tie. Back to school now, back to being a teacher, which makes life a bit hard. Now, I haven't weighed myself yet, it's Tuesday I haven't weighed myself yet, simply because I've totally forgotten. Getting up, silly o'clock in the morning, it's dark, rushing out, walking the dogs, you know, lots of really good excuses. But I will weigh myself tomorrow, I promise myself I'll do it, because I, I honestly haven't had it on my mind. Well, hopefully we're going to have World's Strongest Man Brian Shaw in this video, how amazing is that going to be? And I've ordered some new lifting straps from Les. Wiltshire, I think his name is Les, I think, um, at the Strongman, no, Superior Strongman, his company's called, and I'm reliably informed that they're the best um, straps going, because that car deadlift was really hard, I really struggled with it, so I want to get some straps, because you can use straps in Strongman, whereas in powerlifting you can't, well, unequipped you can't, so we're going to get that, so we've got that rocking up, we've got my general training, this is week three of my training, so it's the end of the first meso cycle, um, as I described it to you guys, sorry, Oh, um, so yeah, it's week three, we've got some speed squats, we've got some heavy overhead presses, and we've got some rep deadlift, that will be interesting I think, some rep deadlift, um, probably at like 150 or 160 for reps, oh, but we'll see. So yeah, we'll see how the video goes, I'll try and um, film something interesting, there's going to be no events in this video. Um, because on Saturday we're going to a wedding, and then on Sunday I'm coaching, and then it's my partner's nan's birthday, that's the one, yep, so we're out for that, and it's not a cop out, it's just that gyms are only open certain times on the weekend, um, and at those times I'm busy, so we see if we sneak something in, maybe something in my back garden, I've got some strong man stuff at home, we see if we can get some stuff done. Peace! Ah. Okay. <laughs> it's just filming. Okay guys, we've got Brian Shaw here for episode 3 of Project Strongman. Brian, what advice would you give to a complete beginner in Strongman? Well obviously we just went through a lot uh, with the seminar here for yeah. you and um, hopefully obviously got some tips from that. But, Amazing. But for a new, a new beginner, technique is going to be very important. Um, being conscious of that is very important, obviously, and then uh, just embracing the process. Fantastic. Em embracing the process and the journey, and uh, it'll uh, it'll seriously change your life as you get started. So hopefully, you experience that, man. Cheers, pal. You got it, brother. Thanks, up. Yeah. Wicked. Well, folks, that's the end of episode three. Um, let me explain what happened this week. A massive roller coaster of a week. So I didn't actually get a chance to deadlift this week. On Thursday, uh, when we see Brian Shaw, I aim to get there a lot earlier and do my deadlift session beforehand. Um, but one thing led to another at work and I couldn't get away in time. So couldn't do it Thursday. Couldn't get there Friday because the gym had closed by the time I finished coaching. Saturday, what was Saturday? Oh no, Saturday we went to a wedding. Um, so we couldn't get there in the morning. And then Saturday night, my girlfriend's dog the little chihuahua goes missing so there's Saturday night blown out and Sunday morning we got the dog back thank Christ um, and today is Sunday and it's my 
um, partner's nan's birthday, so I've literally come straight in from coaching, and now we've got to go out for lunch. And by the time lunch is finished, all the gym's going to be closed. I'm absolutely gutted that my week hasn't panned out, but it's always the way when I'm at work. I can never get to do what I want to do. Uh, let's find a bit of light. If I can just sign here. So, um, looks like Monday or Tuesday are going to have to be deadlift day, um, and I've got to kind of change it around. It's a shame, really, because that was the rep deadlift, and I really wanted to show you. Um, my new straps, my superior strongman straps, but I couldn't get around to do it. Now, I do want to talk to you about one uh, product that I was nicely given um, by Toby at the Strongman Century. Now, Toby has taken it upon himself to sponsor me on my journey to becoming a strongman, and you know, he, he gives me some nice hoodies and lets me train there, and he's coaching me a little bit, so that's great, that's really fantastic. But he gave me this amazing product called Lipo Wake, and it's this cream that you rub in before you work out. You can put it on your whole body or particular parts, and essentially they do different styles of, of this cream. One's for strength, and this, that, and the other. But the one he gave me is amazing because I absolutely smashed my legs and my arms, like my, my triceps specifically this week. I made sure I went overboard on them. And I got zero DOMS. If you remember correctly, like the first second week, I was really complaining about the DOMS. You know, my diet's been uncheck and, and my recovery's been unchecked, but no different to normal. But seriously, this stuff, it's immense. I can't even talk about it. So I'm going to test it again next week um, and I'm going to train even harder. So obviously, I tape, I've been tapering, I'm working my way in. And I'm going to, I'm going to really up my game on it. I'm going to, I'm going to stick a lot of drop sets in, a lot of hypertrophy work to really try and wear myself out and see if this stuff really works because by the looks of things, it's fantastic. So I'll leave a link in the description box so you can have a look at it. I'm not affiliated with them. I've got any discount codes or anything like that. Um, I'd happily endorse them, I think, because that, that is pucker stuff, but it was given to me by Toby. Uh, so it's called Lipo Wake. Um, have a little read and see what you think. Um, so massive thank you for watching episode three. I hope you enjoyed a bit of Brian Shaw. How amazing was that? He just grabbed the camera off of me. He knew who I was. He watched a bit of Project Strong Man. It was amazing. Uh, a big massive thank you to Julian Howard, uh, who arranged the tour with Brian, because he's working in overtime. Um, and a big shout out to him. And i see you in episode four. We're going to probably look at food next week. And... Um, yeah, probably do some food and, and some reviews of bits and pieces. But get in there, folks. Really get in there. Peace out.